Hey you guys, what is up? Glad you liked my last video, that was uh, the Garchomp Altaria match versus Darkrai Hydreigon. Anyways, now I have a match using uh, Zekrom Eels. It's a little bit less of a Zekrom build. I've been messing around and I'm not actually sure of my specific counts of things at this time. You know, one of the benefits of you know recording more videos is obviously I have more content out, but it's a lot harder to remember the specifics of things. So this has probably been sitting on my desktop for maybe about a week or so, but he's going to lead off with the Rayquaza, which, you know, is getting a lot of hype, and he's going to attach the lightning to it and play down the Eviolite, and he level balls for a Tynemo, so it turns out this is a mirror match, you know, slightly different variants, and he's going to end me away from a hand that was not too bad, but and probably puts me at one It's just about as equal, and so I'm expecting to have him attack me, um... Zekrom, or not Zekrom, uh, Rayquaza has an attack that does 40, Dragon Pulse, and he has to discard the top two cards of his deck. And I've noticed a lot of people on Play TCG have been trying to ignore, forget about this aspect. So I think people often actually just straight up forget that that's part of the game, and that's just something that you have to do with that. So I'm going to Ultra Ball away, my Sky Arrow Bridge, and an N. Uh, just because you know how important getting out those Tynemos and Eels are in the beginning of this game especially in the mirror, you know, the first person to be able to hit a couple of those and get out some, you know, pretty much stuff like a uh, a Raikou is going to be the person that really does well. And so I Bianca, knowing that I'll have the supporter for next turn anyways, and I hit a level ball and I hit Neil. So right now I'm in a pretty good spot. I get the charge off, and even though he's doing, you know, more damage than me, I have a catcher, so I should be able to take out that Tynemo if he doesn't evolve it. And he's also... So he's going to Ultra Ball away a Tool Scraper and a Bianca. And we'll see what he grabs out with it. I'm expecting uh, him to grab out an Eel, even though I think a Tynemo is definitely the right play. Uh, I guess he, he doesn't know I have the Catcher, too. I mean, that's a bit much. But he grabs out a Registeel, which kind of surprised me on the whole. Uh, a little surprised that any... Uh, well, not any deck is running Registeel, but... Just eels is a surprising uh, to see a Registeel. Uh, I guess it could be good, though. It definitely seems like it would have some potential. But he's just going to Juniper away an empty hand, and he gets out another Tynemo, so there will be something for me to KO, assuming I can uh, get that last energy on my Thunderous. But I'm just expecting him to uh, hit me with the Dragon Pulse again, and... He discards a lightning, and I missed the other one. So I want to check his discard pile just to see what it was. I think it was a DC or a Mewtwo. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to evolve. I'm going to catch out the Tynemo because I want to take a prize. And I'm going to play an N here. You know, I'm trying to keep my uh, support as many of my supporters as I can. And I actually hit a great hand. I hit a level ball. So I could grab out either another Tynemo or an Eel. And it's really a hard choice. And it looks like I end up grabbing the Tynemo. Um, I definitely thought about both. Both have their merits. Uh, this kind of more ensures me of getting two eels and keeping two eels. So I'm just going to Disaster Vault and take this prize card. I also hit the Super Odd, which is nice in case he snipes an eel. You know, I'd rather be able to keep that energy in the discard pile and not back into my deck. But if I have to, not a bad option. He's going to bench another Tynemo and a Thunder of his own. Which, you know, Thunderous in the mid to late game is pretty, pretty meh for me. And he's going to catch her out a Tynemo with his Rayquaza. And this is what Rayquaza is hyped for, being able to do this from turn one and just being able to consistently do this. And he's going to get off some Dynamotor action. I'm definitely expecting that Registeel to come into play and that, that can be really nasty for Eel. So that's pretty good for the mirror. And he's going to also put another uh, energy on that from his hand. And it looks like he's just going to take out my time, or he's going to end me. And uh, one of the problems with Rayquaza, though, that we're noticing now is that the Registeel would be a far stronger play. You know, you could set up two prizes in two turns and also set up a third one on the third turn. But uh, he's not really going for that. And that's just in part due to the fact that Rayquaza has a huge retreat cost. So he's going to KO me. He's going to lose a switch and a... Uh, I forget what that other card I just saw was, but I'm going to top deck uh, a bunch of good stuff. I'm going to get two eels out, 
I'm going to have another level ball, so there's that. I'm kind of trying to figure out what I should do, bench the Raikou. I decide on doing it, and I actually, I make a misplay and attach to the wrong thing, expecting myself to have two lightning in the discard pile, but um, I don't. So now I'm just kind of <laughs> in a bad spot. Um, unfortunately, I also didn't have the Sky or a Bridge, which I forgot about. And I'm going to just uh, go for the Thunderfang. And I do paralyze him, so I kind of luck sack this part. Um, you know, 50-50 chance, though. It was, it was definitely a misplay. I definitely shouldn't have done it. But I don't expect him to have a switch. Uh, he's already discarded one. I don't see this build as being a switch heavier build, even though the switches would help. And he also Ultra Balls a Mewtwo there, which is always something to take note of, your opponent's Mewtwo count. And he gets out of Sigilyph, which, you know, could do some stuff against this deck, but at the same time, Raikou gives me so many options, especially against an Eel deck. I'm just going to be able to snipe Eels. That's really what this deck is designed to do. He's going to Juniper away the Sigilyph. So it turns out he was just thinning his deck. Interesting choices. And he's going to play a random receiver right off the bat, off of this Juniper. And he's going to get a Bianca off of it, which is probably the least helpful supporter he could have hit. And from there, uh, he's just going to pass because he's paralyzed. So a really helpful turn for me. I really needed to buy that turn. And I'm going to attach a DCE. I'm going to just look through my discard to see what's there. And I'm going to play the level ball, I think. I should. I'm fairly confident. Up, oh, I don't. Uh, so I decide to Volt Bolt his electric. And hit a Mewtwo. So, you know, kind of doing pretty well. But there's still some variables in this match. Uh, I do have board control with two eels out to his nun. And he's going to attach to his Rayquaza, which is no longer paralyzed, and he's going to retreat it for three, which, you know, is fine by me. And the thing I would like to do is probably try to catch her back out that Rayquaza and just try and snipe around uh, with Raikou. That's one of the really powerful things you can do in the mirror, because, you know, if they don't hit switches, they're really going to take it, especially uh, with Rayquaza. It's a three retreat cost Pokemon. No, there's there's no just top decking a DCE to get out of it. It's pretty much a switch or bust or you know maybe a two to three turn attachment thing. So he's gonna super rod out a two one eel slime. That one time mode disappears, but it makes its way back into the deck somehow. Um, kind of a weird thing to happen. But sometimes play TCG.me gets a little funky. He actually puts it back in his discard and then it's, so he's gonna grab the Mewtwo or maybe the Rayquaza. It looks like it was kind of confusing what happened with that. Um, you know, I guess I didn't notice it as much as the time. The Mewtwo looks like it's still there. Things happen, as I guess the, the moral of that story. I'm surprised he wants to get back the Rayquaza, though. I don't think it's a very good mid-game card. But uh, he's going to KO Thunderous with the triple laser. And I'm kind of just waiting on him to announce where the other two are going. Uh, and then he's going to put 30 on both of my eels, which is kind of intimidating that I don't really have an answer to this. Um, threat immediately, and the the Raikou is definitely or not the Raikou the um is definitely a good play. I'm going to uh, level ball out and get that third eel. So now I'm going to drop the Mewtwo, I believe, just because you know why wouldn't I? Um, I do have a bunch of energy there, so I'm going to. Dynamotor times three, which is, you know, getting four energy on a Mewtwo is risky, but I've seen that he's been discarding them. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to get one back out. And I'm going to X-Ball for, there are seven energy between us, but he resists 40 damage, so I believe it's 100. And uh, that's a pretty good chunk. You know, that was pretty much my best option in terms of response. The other thing I'm hoping is that I can just get one more energy on the field, and he does actually get the Mewtwo down here, which kind of scares me. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to retreat his Registeel. He's also going to be able to get out an Eel and a Tynemo. 
So now he's actually looking like he's in a better spot. He's going to Juniper away. And he already attached, so I'm kind of getting a little nervous here. I didn't expect him to have the Mewtwo. And he's going to catch her, which surprises me, to be honest. Um, I think he's going for uh, trying to lock my eels. Um, and he's probably going to grab the one with no damage. So this way he can triple laser twice and knock me out, or knock out two of my eels, and then one more triple laser would put some damage on my EXs and also knock out uh, my third eel. So at this point, I top deck a DCE, so again, I am getting lucky. Um, you know, I can't argue that. And I'm going to motor to my Raikou. I'm going to attach the DCE and retreat. And the other thing that I'm really hoping I'm about to do is I'm hoping I play this Max Potion, which I didn't. Um, you know, I guess I knew I had the K on the Registeel and I didn't have to worry as much about the, uh, the sniping around, but having just 60 damage on two of my eels, it's just kind of, eh, it's not the best situation to be in. But I know that the Revenge KO is coming, you know, kind of an obvious thing. The other problem I've run into is I haven't been able to get another attacker on the field, so I really only can promote Raikou, and I'm not going to be able to Dynamo to that. But he's going to X-Ball KO me. And um, now I'm just looking at um, playing out my hand pretty much. I'm going to drop the bridge, uh, and because I hit the switch, I'm in a lot better of a position. I'm going to Max Potion away one of my eels, and I'm going to Bianca for five. So off of this Bianca... Um, I hit a catcher, which is really the, um, the thing I needed to hit. I'm going to super rod away, or back in a Mewtwo, a Thunderous, and a Tynemo, just, or an electric energy, uh, because I know how important it is for me to top deck one lightning energy in this match. Um, and I'm going to play the catcher. I'm going to get that Tynemo out. And... Because I'm able to Thunder Fang, that means that pretty much all I need is one Lightning Energy, and I'll be able to just snipe next turn and kill that eel, or KO that eel. So unless he can, um, a Darkrai would beat me. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of other random things that would beat me. A Darkrai and a Catcher would knock out both my eels. Anything that could one-shot Raikou, but he's just going to be forced to do that 120. <clears throat> and... I believe what I should do up oh, I'm just gonna retreat for free and dynamotor to my electric or to my Raikou sorry I'm gonna dynamotor just a bunch just cuz I'm gonna play the switch and that will allow me to volt bolt that eel, eel and that will be the game I hope you guys enjoyed this one make sure you rate like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys later